You know, one of the most important things you can do is you've got to have your fluid clean. You don't want debris, you don't want lumps, clumps, all of that's going to affect trying to spray anything. What we use pretty much all the way through, whether it be solvent or water-based, is we use a medium mesh strainer. Now, there's a lot of places to carry them. We, we simply pick them up at Harbor Freight. The, the, again, this is, says a 60 to 70 mesh. You can get a finer one, and that works okay with a, with a solvent if it's thin, but it's a little too fine for a water base. But, and they're pretty inexpensive there. Now, you can see my super duper fancy straining rig. Piece of plywood, hole cut in it, stands over top of the, put our strainer in, and we pour it in. Simple as that. If you have a gravity fed, they're a little bit more, a little different. This is a rig, again, we got it at Harbor Freight. I'm not a Harbor Freight. You know, I'm not doing commercials, but I think the thing was five bucks or something. And you can see what it does. It's got a little swing arm on top, and it holds your gravity fed, and same thing. Now, in the spray gun segment, when we were talking about that, we were talking about a lot of them will have a little inline, a little filter that actually in the gravity feds, as I showed you, it sits between the cup and the body of the gun. And again, it's just another means of straining it. But if you have debris, this little filter is going to clog up really, really fast. You don't want to do that. So you want to strain it even if you're using this. This is kind of a second line of defense. The other thing that you're going to find, uh, and, and I apologize, I don't have any with me at the, here at the moment, but you can get strainers, I know Apollo has them, that slip over the end of the tube right here that you can use. But I do want to caution you. A lot of times on heavier body material like paint, um, water baits finishes, these can be too fine and you're going to starve the gun of fluid. It's, you're just going to have a hard time getting enough fluid into it. So straining it really well before it goes in the cup and keep, keeping your cup clean has, well, it's always worked for us. So that's straining it, just keep it clean. All, I will tell you this too, you can, uh, uh, in a pinch, you can use some cheesecloth or whatever, just make sure it doesn't have any kind of coatings or anything like that on it. Uh, I've seen guys use nylon, ladies, hose, legging hose, I mean, whatever, that's a little fine, especially again with a water base, it's just a little too fine. The medium mesh seems to do the best. Strain it. Keep it clean.